Hello everybody. This is live storm chase mode here. I am in Chugwater, Wyoming, anticipating an outbreak of severe weather today. Enhanced risk across eastern Wyoming into the Nebraska Panhandle, western Dakotas. And I'm in Chugwater, Wyoming, right next to Chug Creek. And we've got big time flow down Chug Creek too after the storms yesterday. We did get that tornado down in uh, the Denver area, south side of Denver, Highlands Ranch. Uh, destructive tornado. Looks like the preliminary survey so far is EF1. I'm wondering if they might be able to find some EF2 damage in that. Yeah, it looks like a long day ahead. Three days of severe weather. Including today. And Shugwater is an area that's notorious for getting uh, tornadic supercells. It was actually a confirmed tornado just southwest of Chugwater yesterday. And we're going to have three total teams today. Me and Brandon Kopik's going to be on board and the Ridge Riders today. So we got a full slate of storm chasers here. Uh, definitely going to be pretty intense. And these stables here down near Chugwater on the south side of town look like they're a little bit flooded too. I can show you how it looks. Let me just turn around here and get a little bit closer to Chugwater Creek. Let me show it to you here. too far away from the internet you know what happens when I do that but do that thing just cranking out here well now these are right near the horse stables just showing you really that El Nino is doing quite a number up and down the high plains but we've got sunny skies out here very sunny I'm starting to see some cirrus off to the west Maybe a sign that they're coming off the mountains. I'm in the Dominator 4 today. Still got to get Dominator stenciled on the side. Also want to get the subsonic sensor ready to go. Or we're probably going to get lit up by these cattle flies out here today. But these sunny skies are not a good thing if you let, don't like severe weather. I'm gonna get the batteries here installed in the subsonic sensor too. Boy, is it packed this late season. So many chasers up here. Usually by the end of June, people are starting to shift toward summer a little bit, but everybody is out these days still. Still a ton of chasers out there. It's great to see popularity of chasing taking off. Gotta get some new batteries. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Cause the Dominator 4, y'all. There it is, battery. See? Always come prepared. Thanks, man. Looking at the creek as well, it appears. Tomorrow looks decent near uh, Omaha. Looks like a big day in Iowa tomorrow. And then the next day, it could even be Kentucky. And the day after that, looks like the Carolinas again. So I'm trying to decide whether I should chase this whole thing all the way down or if I should position toward the end of next week, another trough is going to eject too. That's probably going to be the final trough of the season, I think. And then we'll pivot to hurricane season. We have big plans for hurricane season too. Everybody dominate that like button too. And if you like what you see with the uh, 
streaming and the storm chasing and everything we're doing because that's what helps make all this happen. Yes, I'm here to double remind. Please hit the like button. Um, it helps us get off to a running start right away. So please hit the like, subscribe if you're not already, and uh, share. I'll give you an overview of the day in a few. But yeah, that tornado yesterday was intense there in Denver. Highlands Ranch. And I know that the uh, NWS will be back out today. So I got to connect to this subsonic and clear the uh, SD card quick. format it there's Brandon jeez all right so I'm gonna jump in while Reed's doing that what Reed's doing is he has a subsonic sensor I'm talking over him sorry uh, he has the subsonic sensor which Basically, we deploy in front of storms that have a lot of hail on it, and it records. Here, one sec. Works. 13 satellites connected now. There we go. Well, the subsonic is now ready to go for the entire chase. I need to deploy that on the ground, though, to get some good infrasound data. So that's why today, since I'm, well, I am kind of trying to intercept, but... I am also going to drop that as a ground-based probe instead of just drive the thing into a tornado like I often do. Oh my god! There's a white line sphinx there. You gotta be kidding me. That's a white line sphinx. A hawk moth is inside my car. Man, we got that green light, so things are looking good on that angle. There is a storm trying to develop just to the west of Chugwater right now. Tornado warnings already in central Wyoming, out west of Casper. Already got two tornado warnings. That's just north of Powder River. Damn. We do have a mesoscale discussion that just came out. But yeah, right now we got these two tornado warnings southwest of Casey up in central Wyoming. And we've also got these towers that are going up to the west of Chugwater. You can see those are towers, towers all the way up. And it does look like these are about to fire. There's the uh, MD that's been issued. And those are the tops of the storms that we're already seeing. They develop over the higher terrain, often near Chugwater, movies, and then they hit the moisture by about I-25, and a lot of times they start producing tornadoes. The MD, there's about to be a tornado watch, a few tornadoes, very large hail, severe wind gusts appear increasingly likely this morning. 
convection has begun to develop along both the Laramie and the Bighorn Mountains in Wyoming this afternoon as large-scale ascent associated with a shortwave trough overspreads the northern high plains. Additional robust thunderstorms, including a couple of supercells, are ongoing across central Wyoming in a weakly unstable but strongly sheared environment. The air mass downstream of this activity across eastern Wyoming into southwestern South Dakota and Nebraska Panhandle is slowly destabilizing, but persistent low-level cloud cover has hampered daytime heating across these areas to some extent. Deep layer shear of 40 to 50 knots will definitely support supercell structures. East-southeasterly low-level upslope flow will continue. Along and near a surface warm front or outflow boundary, better potential may be focused over this area through the rest of the afternoon into the early evening as a slightly backed low-level flow develops. Oh, here they are. Hey, you guys found me! I know, Donna, we, we got a tractor on you here. Yeah, <laughs> how's it going? Pretty good. Good to see you. Good to see you. Long time no see. I know, it's been a while. Cattle flies. Yeah, I'm right right next to the pasture here. Yeah, it'll do it. Yeah. We've been taking back from here. I bet, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that must be tough for you guys. Live? Yeah, I'm live now. Yeah, I just went live, so. I'm thinking about heading back into town, though, and finding a quick snack, but there's so many people at the gas stations, I, I can't. I'm just going to hang out here, I think. Probably won't be able to eat today, maybe. Uh, we have some snacks. You want some crackers? Oh, that's okay. I'm not a big fan of the munchy, those uh, crunchy things. Okay. They're, like, fat and meat. Yeah, they will. Might get a gas station burrito up there. Yeah. Good to see you guys back out again. I know. Yeah, we went home and then got kind of stuck there for a while. Yeah. Uh oh, yeah, that's too bad. Yeah. Oh yeah, they've been hovering around my car for a while. So once I open the window, I think they were waiting for me to open it. Finally. Now I'll get lit up in here. <laughs> yeah, good to see you guys. Yeah, never stop chasing. Where have you guys been? Where have you guys been all this time? Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah. That's a, that can be tough sometimes. Yeah, yeah, a lot of times they're just one and done in the high plains. You got to get them early before they turn into an outflow dominant hail bag. Oh, happy birthday! Yeah. Frick yes! I've never had a chance to get a birthday Oh no. Yeah. yeah, happy birthday. A lot of them happen on your birthday on June 23rd. Yeah, I saw the best tornado I've ever seen. Or June 24, 2003, it was Manchester, day after. But the day before was a, a state record hailstone in Aurora, Nebraska. And also on your birthday was June 23, 2007, the Pipestone Manitoba Wedge. Okay, yeah, still minor, man. Also, June 22, 2004, was big time in South Dakota, Brown County. So yeah, your birthday goes big normally. It's just the last three years of La Nina, the Northern Plains haven't been as big. But, yeah, I think you'll get one here the next three days, and if not, maybe the end of next week. I'm going to today so that I don't have to go back east. I, if I don't get anything today, I'm going to feel obligated to go to Iowa tomorrow. Yeah. But I'm going to just get a tornado today and then go to the mountains tomorrow. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan for you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I'm gonna rave and head into town here just to probably get a snack. I might end my chase though if I do that. <laughs> All right, see you guys. Good to see you. See so, yeah, how we got these towers bubbling over the high terrain right now. Thanks everybody for joining us. We're gonna have big time severe weather today. Chugwater Creek. I'm gonna take a look at stuff, look at the mesoanalysis in between summer camp sessions out here. 
it is warming up. It's now 72 over 64 up in Wheatland. So may try to just sample this boundary, see if we could find the end of it. But I'm pretty sure that a storm's gonna go up to the west of Chugwater. There's Chugwater Creek. Downtown Chug. Downtown Chugwater. You can get an amazing sloppy joke. I didn't have an opportunity to eat before the live stream started because I was getting swarmed back there. There's a chug water chili. Corporate headquarters, gift shop, and free samples. There it is. Yeah. Corporate headwater, corporate headquarters there of chug water chili. All right, it seems like we have a couple minutes to uh, give you an overview of the day. So here it is. This is the SPC's warnings for today. And you can see the yellow is a slight warning. The orange up here is enhanced. And you see right on the edge of that enhanced, these warning boxes going up. Those warning boxes... This yellow one is a severe thunderstorm, and that can lead to one of these, which is a red box or a <clears throat> tornado warning. So our chasers, Brandon, the Ridge Riders, and Reed, they're all generally in this area up here over my head. They're pretty much on the western edge of it. And you could see on Brandon's and the Ridge Riders screens that it kind of just looks like a nice day, right? It's like cloudy sky. Oh, who we got here? Oh, that's Brandon. <laughs> yeah, you just wait and see. It's crazy this late in the year. I know, it's this far north. Yeah. Looks like that differential heating boundary is starting to destabilize maybe up there, lift toward Wheatland a bit. Stuff up north of Casper's already got going because it's just going to kind of start firing down the line more. And yeah, maybe Wheatland will be good, but I went I went north and felt that 63 and turned around. I don't blame you. That happened on the Akron day. I came up here, turned around, and didn't make it all the way to Akron, though. Yeah. All right, we'll see you, buddy. Good, good to see you. See, I shaved. Yeah, I did see that. Got a new headband, too. Yeah, it's not the only thing I shaved. Just kidding. No, not me. Not me. I just grow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's good sloppy Joes up there on the left.
All right, so what I was saying about how pretty the sky looks now is that you could see in all three of these shots that there's you could see a lot of blue, right? So that means that the sun is getting to the surface in this area and it's heating the surface. And so then if you get the right storms going over the right surface or environment and then that could fuel supercells and fuel tornadoes and everything. So the fact that it's very blue and the clouds are very distributed, that's actually uh, a little foreboding for severe weather in the area here. So right now the sun is heating up the surface. All these guys are generally really in the area and Reed is a talking. I'm leaning going north. Yeah, we got to get around the pinch. I'm going north. And I need those easterlies today, folks. Soda fountain. That's where you can get the amazing sloppy joes here. All right, so to give you a general idea where they are, they're all kind of in this this area right here, the um, southeastern section of Wyoming. North of Cheyenne, you just heard Reed kind of making the first big decision of the day, and that is he is going north. So it looks like he's going towards, generally towards these storms. He he may not actually go to these storms because these storms may be dumb by the by the time he gets there. But you can see there are these other things bubbling up here. Uh, so it sounds like he's going to be heading north. Wonder why we lost him there. And probably going up 25 and getting into this area here. Uh, but you can see that this area, they're on the very western edge of this. So we may very well start the day in Wyoming and then make our way into one or both of the Dakotas. Good morning here, Brian. Sorry about that. It's got too much sun coming through the damn thing right now. Well, I am heading north toward Wheatland. 72 here, but the rap analysis really likes those easterlies, and those things are already dropping tornadoes up west of Casey right now. So that's probably where you want to go. I think it does look like a fairly big day today. The nose is kind of right there. That's the dry line bulge, and you can definitely see that thing nosing up. That's the wraparound. We also got good easterlies, though. Look at the convergence along the dry line there. That's just incredible. So, something a little bit easier for us to see is something like this. Or you could see all these winds coming in here, but all these winds coming this way, and they're kind of converging in that area here that Reed is looking at. Just wanted to come and say hi. Oh, hi. I'm from England. Okay. I've been following you for hey. over a year. Good to see you, sir. And, uh, excited. 
So I'm now chasing on my own and uh, love I was, it. I saw I was local, so I wanted to go to say hi. Yeah, Get good stuff. Sure, yeah. Is that okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're doing great work. Thank you so much. Trying to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I'm uh, trying to make my phone work now. Uh, how do I get out of YouTube? I don't know. Yeah, you might just have to swipe and, uh, up, I think. Yeah, so I was uh, in wheat water. Wheat, wheat, what was it called? I don't, I don't know, man. Let's just, I gotta go ago. north. Yeah, a couple of days ago. Yeah, I, I think there. you're talking about Wheatland, probably. Wheatland, Wheatland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There we go. Okay. Thanks. Uh, yeah, so, but before that, I was. Um, Hello, Here, you want me to figure it out? Uh, I can do it. Yeah. Oh, is it an Android? Yeah, it's Android, but... Well, I'm not sure how to you use an Android, but I gotta hit the road here in a second, so... Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm real quick... Yeah, I'm sorry. That'd be excellent. Thank you. Toward the end of the season, I start to get exhausted. Yeah, imagine. Okay, so... I'm gonna make this work and uh, there we are. Sweet water. Oh, I mean, somebody's pranking us right now. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna just do this. I'll do it like a, like a video or something, shall I? Uh, All right, I gotta go here soon, sir. I'm really sorry. No, no, that's We cool. can do it quick. Yeah, yeah. Just take a quick photo. I gotta work out here, so. Yeah, I know. You gotta, do you have a way to, do you know how to do it, or? No, I have no idea. This is fucking new phone. Oh, no. I gotta hit the road here in a second, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Okay. We'll try and do it like that. There we go. That's really cool. Somebody's pranking us right now. No, that's all. <laughs> okay, did you get it? Okay, I think we possibly did. Okay, thank I'm, you so uh, much. No, but yeah, but I wouldn't if I were you. You'd blow your car to shreds because I get into the hail and stuff. But thank you. Don't do that, please. Please leave her eat alone. If you're going up to get a photo, I mean, I guess have your camera ready. I'm sure it, was, it sounded like a very nice guy, but just let, let Reed cook out there. He's, he's really trying to do a lot at once. I do like these a little bit better over southeastern Wyoming. 
he might have a slightly better chance. It does look like it tries to become a little bit more linear off to the north. At least that's what the HRRR model is trying to show. Yeah, it looks like Southeast Wyoming, just this big ripper comes right off. And of course, that is the HRRR model I'm not a fan of here in the High Plains, but a lot of times it's ripe for the wrong reasons. It even mixes out the dew points into the mid 50s. Probably that storm, isn't it? Maybe get some food really quick in Wheatland. So just quickly as we're approaching this first storm here, if you're wondering where Reed is, um, you know, just not to track him down, but just to see where he is relative to the storms. Um, first, it's, it's always right there. You can see he's in Wheatland, Wyoming right now. 
Um, and if you want to see where he is kind of relative to his storms, you could look in our <clears throat> description. There's a, there's a link to highways and hailstones. It's a, uh, it's a great app for storm chasers to broadcast their chase streams. It has live streaming GPS, uh, automatic chase logs, all sorts of stuff. So, um, or if you want to just see where Reed is relative to the storm in another browser tab. Anyway, back to the chasers here. thing is clearly running into the uh, stable layer. Might need another tower to kind of come off this. But this is that storm that's trying to initiate. Looks like it's got some fog of its own. Tornado warning in Casey. Casey, Wyoming. Get in your safe place, Casey, Wyoming. That Powder River one is not warned. That one probably has a tornado on the ground. 34 miles south of Casey, moving northeast at 35. I could go up to Douglas, but then I'd be leaving this area. Yeah, I definitely could go up and then head north out of Douglas toward right and get ahead of that tornado warn storm. You got this one in Casey that's coming into Casey. This one I bet is going to be a known tornado producer though. I think it's just cranking. I might even just try to go get that one. I could just go to Douglas and then north or the right and get it on that road. But I do think there's going to be a ripper that comes right out of this area, goes up toward the northwestern Nebraska Panhandle. Once that energy comes out, it just is going to require the energy to hit this area. Yeah, that looks like a tornado almost. It's quite cool up there though. So I want to tell everybody, basically a lot of people are wondering, what's the possibility of a tornado today? And we can figure that out. Generally, um, so this is the SPC's warning areas. It's the same orange or very close to the orange warning area I was showing you before. But this 5% doesn't mean that there's a 5% chance of a tornado happening. It means there's a 5% chance of a probability, 5% probability of a tornado occurring within 25 miles of a given point in this area. But this area is almost 40,000 square miles. So the actual probability is actually around 65% that there will be a tornado in that area today. And then you also have this 2% area that's enormous. 2% area 
probably around 44% chance that a tornado, that, that this is assuming that the SPC is a thousand percent right about these probabilities. And they're, they're very good at what they do. But anyway, that's just kind of a general overall thing. But then once, I mean, there's still huge areas, so you still have to commit one place or another. Reed has a lot of experience, so he knows maybe I don't want to go after this one right away where it, it looks like the environment where I am is going to be more favorable uh, later on. So here, let's go back to Reed. Tornado producer up there it might move into that environment. Looks like there is a little patch of clouds here and then a little bit better up. I do think that eventually these are going to initiate. These are the southern mode and it'll slide into this environment over southeastern Wyoming, eventually into the Nebraska Panhandle. Hey, Reed. Oh, hi. Mr. Reben. Oh, yeah. I'm John. Hi, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good. Pretty soggy over there, eh? Where? Oh yeah, looks like that collapsing storm. Yeah. You think that's gonna poop out? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see, huh? Yeah, we'll see. I'm tempted to go up north. You know, I'm just trying to look at stuff now, see if I can figure it out. I'm sure you are too. Yeah, I came from the north. It's a lot cooler north of Wheatland. I know. Yeah. But. It's yeah. also up at Gillette, it's 69 over 58, just north of Wheatland. So yeah. Douglas is a little cooler, but it warms up again up there in those easterlies. Yeah, and it, feel, it looks like a little further east over towards Harrison isn't bad either. Oh yeah, there's lots of good spots right now. Cool, well good luck today, man. Yeah, good to see nice you, good luck to you, nice to meet you. It feels pretty good here. Got some winds in this area. So if the storm does come out of its own, I do think it'll have some potential. I'm pretty sure that Gillette storm Excuse me, the storm southwest and midwest might be producing. Tornado and ping pong ball size hail. We do have some explosive. Southwest Chuck. You know, I had a friend that saw Alec Baldwin in a bar in New York, and he like looked up, and Alec Baldwin was looking at him, and Alec Baldwin saw my friend Frank recognize him. He like looked up, he was like, oh my God, Alec Baldwin. And then my friend Frank caught himself and said like, basically made a gesture like, not gonna bother you, but hey. And then he went back to, you know, what he was doing. And then apparently Alec Baldwin sent him over a drink. And they toasted, or I mean, they toasted from afar. And then that was the end of it. Be like Frank. All right, folks. I'm not sure if this Wheatland one's gonna do it or not. It could. You'd see a little bit of a base coming off the mountains here. 
That's up near Wheatland. But the towers have fluffed out. And you look at Echo Tops. A lot better towers are just southwest of Chugwater. Look at that. Chug, 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 chug. Chuggity, chug, chug, chug. Could rock it all the way up for the tornado warning storm. Casey, the tornado warning has been dropped. Those also might grow up scale pretty fast. Looks like it's already got another tower off to the south of it. nice and sunny here just south of Wheatland 74 degrees so if any of these do decide to go they will have some potential beautiful terrain out here in Wyoming I wonder if some could come out here just on the south side but Okay, let's uh, let's look a bit more at the environment that we have here. We are going to this window here. We have a so this is the tornado warning that was before. We are going to go to this feed. Excuse me one second. Uh, so Reed's looking at kind of paying attention to these towers here, which, and he was looking at this, he was looking at satellite too, which is super important to look at if you're chasing. Cause you could see, if I go back here, these storms up here, that's this, that's, this is what it looks like from the, the sky because these things have built up and then just kind of turn into smokestacks. So we'll animate this. So this thing has been pretty big for a while, it seems, so you don't really see it just explode. You can see it moving across. And so this is the environment that seems to be uh, favorable, this one right here in the center of the screen, for what Reed's looking at. <clears throat> and so he's paying attention to the sky. He's paying attention to... Uh, satellite here and it looks like he's back too let's see but yeah it looks like these are battling the stable air up here a little bit you can see some of the towers trying to develop just to the south of it but definitely those low clouds there that are banked right up against the terrain that is suggestive of some stable air nice tower there southwest of chugwater they were looking at this tower here a little reinvigoration of one snacks here in chug water and allow this storm to mature just to our west
also want to jump in and say, Mike Johnson, thank you very much for a huge, huge gift of 50 memberships. Hopefully, if you were lucky enough, YouTube randomly picks the uh, who those membership goes goes to go to. Um, so hopefully, if you got one, you're enjoying it so far. You're uh, you probably you now have access to the forecast for today that we did earlier, and you also have some uh, some emojis that are pretty cool and fun. But thank you, Mike Johnson, and uh, thank you uh, to P Costa and. Ronald with wings and everybody else donating uh, today. Much appreciated. just saw that a member just discovered that we have a flying cow emoji now glad you enjoy some towers that are starting to emerge i wonder if we need to go further north 75 over 58 or so here temperature over dew point So this right here, you see, well,
So this right here, you see this, these red areas, that is a significant tornado parameter area. Uh, and it's to this area where Reed is headed. Um, this one right here. This will keep him in position for later on when things may move over this way. that Wheatland one's just going to erupt as well. Pretty good tops up there in Wheatland too. Wouldn't be surprised if that one southwest and midwest, Wyoming, north of Casper, has a tornado. Yeah, we got towers erupting all over the place now. Look at these. The key eventually is just going to be to stick to an east option. That southern one takes off and goes, so be it. See which way the winds are going here. A little worried that dry line might mix through. Still good easterly winds. That's the southern one. This is the one here, that's the one up in Wheatland. I want my phone to overheat again. So you could see our, our chasers here. You could see Brandon down there and Reed are uh, are both oh. oh good, crotch cam. This is my this is my favorite. Uh but basically it's it's a don't go after everything right away thing. Let's pause, let's let's look at the environment. And these are the storms that are starting to go up here. How are you doing, guys? Good to see you. Great. Looking forward to it. Oh, yeah, it should be a big chase today. Can I take a picture real quick? Sure. That's the Dominator 4 right there. Oh, yeah, this is it. Thanks, dude. Yeah, thanks. Yours is going to look like this soon. Sooner or later. Maybe after today. Yeah. Yeah, so what I was saying, you can see the Ridge Riders are on the move, but Brandon and Reed are both kind of worried that one's going to go up there. If it does, it'll be a hard one to catch.
occupying up south of Wheatland. See that one starting to intensify up at Habit Wheatland. Probably the one we'll have to go for eventually. It's got a base on it. You just heard Reed. There is a tornado watch. That is this right there. Without it, with it. This is the tornado watch. This whole area is now under a tornado watch. Until 10 p.m. tonight. Wind gusts at 70 miles per hour. Storm motions are moving around 30. And again, these expire at 10 p.m. But now this is officially a tornado watched area. I saw a couple of people in chat wondering what's the difference between a watch and a warning. We are happy to help with that. So this big giant purple area is the watch area. This is a severe thunderstorm warning. This is a tornado warning. So a watch is a huge area where these things can happen. And a warning is like, this might be happening right now. And you see this warning is issued. Usually a storm is like the threat area is right here. And then you have this big, uh, you know, possible path of it. You know, it could go up here or it could go down here. That's why they're shaped like kind of open-ended polygons or trapezoids. I don't know. Not trapezoids. Maybe a trapezoid. Anyway, um, that's the difference. Here's a watch. Here's a warning.
lot on it. So I'm not sure if it's the one I want to be on or not, but let's see. The temperature's about to plummet here near Wheatland. Tops are going up on it.
getting started.
Let's get a quick look at what Brandon is looking at. Yeah. It's all a matter of time. It's not a matter of if it happens. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. And a matter of what storm. Oh man, that beautiful. Look at that, guys. I don't know if you can see the towers too well on that, but look at those towers on that storm. It's blowing up. I just don't like this low level foggy cloudiness. It doesn't make me feel like it's tornado y. It makes me feel that it's just gonna stabilize. I mean. Oh, new tornado warning. I am by Slater right now, yes. So you heard that, Brandon, kind of a couple mixed signals there. He's saying it's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. But he is seeing signs that there is some stable air here. But what I remember is he said it's not if, but when it's going to happen. So he is... Kind of right there. Let's go to Reed. Torrington, if just wait. We'll be moving at 35 miles an hour. Even this one will end up being north of the East Road out of Chubwater. I'm kind of playing the, playing the long game a little bit, everybody. Eight miles and 100 east.
are just going to be ahead of these storms that are developing off the higher terrain. Because I think given the 30, 30 mile per hour storm motions, I want to be a little bit northeast of these. So I'm going to head a little bit north of that differential heating boundary and head toward Lingo and just wait for these supercells to mature because I know the road network northeast of Chugwater is very difficult. Oops, cut them off. Look at that, just to the east of Wheatland, folks. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's see here, actually. Uh, boom. All right, I believe what we're seeing is Reed is actually about here. Yeah. Wheatland, he's headed towards Lingle. He's watching this storm here, uh, which is the one to the south. That one is uh, at 40,000 feet. Right, so things are slowly beginning to pick up here. This one is looking uh, more interesting on visuals, and we'll probably see it is just on that last scan begin to bubble up a little bit more to 45,000 feet. I'll just animate it for you so you see this coming in. But this is a 
maturing storm here. Right there. So it's going up pretty quickly. So watch for this. I'll keep it in the lower right hand corner of Reed's screen. Watch for uh, a piece of this to turn orange. Because that means this thing is above 50,000 feet. That's going to be the dominant storm there just to the west of Chugwater. Things just going to move northeast toward Lingle. There's a big road hole right in that area southwest of Lingle. Go away, Constance. Pretty sure I know who that is, too, on another burner account. All right, let's check in with the other people as Reed is glitching a little bit here. Oh, no, he's coming back. So let's go back to Reed. Eh, borderline right now.
remember, keep watching this thing up here. This thing's called Echo Tops. It's one of the things we really look at to see how strong a storm is and how it's maturing. So if you see a bit of orange, so it'll update every like 60 seconds or so, maybe every two or three minutes. But on the next scan, see if this light green area has grown or if there is a, an orange area. So remember that orange area means over 50,000 feet. So it's strong. intensifying west of Chugwater. There's a big road hole here. So I'm trying to get down and out in front of this. I'm a little worried that it might produce a tornado even before it gets time 25 though. The temperature dew point spreads are pretty damn good there in Chugwater right now. The northern one is dying on a bit. at these. Look at that big monster animal. Just spinning right toward me. Look at that anvil right there, folks. That's it. That's the back side. And it's still pivoting north toward my position, eventually toward Wheatland, and then we'll be in perfect position on it. Still hasn't been able to move off the terrain, agreed. Probably have to split a few times. But yeah, if this thing produces west of I-25, I'm going to be pissed. That lead storm died so far. Now the southern one has just taken over. It's about to split. Right mover will move northeast. Once it moves into this road network, you, the only option is to wait for it out near Fort Laramie and Lingle. Looks like it's already trying to get pulled east. Not a ton of rotation yet, so we probably have time. Yeah, that's going to be our storm for the rest of the day. 
That handle just exploding on it. Keep an eye on that thing. I'm gonna go get some food quick. All right, Reed told us to keep an eye on it, so that is what we will do. So that right there is that right there. Um, and so the bright green that we're seeing that's over, over 45,000 feet is that right there. It's um, working on a way to draw on here. But... So you see the light pole to the right of Reed's. The light pole to the right of Reed yeah, on the right side over there. Right behind that, that's the anvil. That stuff to the left is or just kind of clouds in front of it, but the the light pole to the right is right in front of the anvil. And so if you go a little bit above it. That's the top of the anvil. So that top of the anvil is 45,000 feet or so, maybe higher than that at this point. But again, so that's that shows you that it's strong. Um, and it sounded like Reed was saying that that is going to be the storm he is on today, uh, that he's picked his storm. So that's this one right here. You were also hearing him say, that right here this whole section right here is a ro road hole so it means that there are no roads there and so if this thing this thing's probably going to turn a little bit um and so when it comes in here this is like 30 miles or so that really can't chase it in so i'm trying to figure out it sounded like you wanted to get the lingle to get in front of it and just kind of keep an eye on it and then if it makes it to lingle without producing then there's a better maybe a better road network over over here but generally the storm is kind of gonna maybe go like that maybe this is the storm track right now going north uh, but it seems like reed thinks it'll bend a bit i don't want to put words in his mouth but that's kind of what i was understanding what he was saying so we'll see the one thing we definitely know this is a tall storm this is a big road hole here and reed is back That's it. It's definitely the storm. It's a little bit multi-cellular down there now, but you can kind of see all those different updrafts down west of Slater. Some of the left splits are starting to dominate, but I think we just get in front of that down toward Laramie and we should be dominating. Look at the lead one kind of fluff out and die. That next one should have enough oomph to get through. The fact that it's waiting a long time is a good sign for this area. Well, good night if you like. Not if you don't like tornadoes, of course. Got a pizza here from Guernsey. Nice fresh pizza. Small little pieces. How cute. 
in small little pieces. How cute is this? So as interesting as, as Reed eating small little pieces is, let's go to the Ridge Riders for a second because they have a, a view of this chug water storm that still has a while to mature, but let's go to them. Beautiful. Reed found some pizza. Lucky. All right, guys, we have a beautiful supercell developing here. Let me get out of the car for you guys. Okay, this is just to, give me a second, where are we at, Ben? Uh, we are near Slater. Yeah, this is just to the west of Slater. Beautiful developing updraft. You can kind of see the updraft right there. Going out of focus there, but you can kind of see where that updraft is going. To, off to the north of that, you have that rain shaft, okay, rain core of the storm moving up the north, and then way back there, you have the start of a developing base, okay? So this is a very healthy looking updraft, okay? Much healthier than the one to the north. Here's the one to the north. We were kind of tracking along with that. You can see it is a bit low, uh, but it's overall a bit unorganized. So right now we're thinking that this is gonna be the dominant updraft here, just off to the west of Slater and Chugwater. And this should move off to the north and east throughout the afternoon, but maybe even turning right and moving due east eventually. So this is the storm we're gonna be on. Tornado potential definitely ramping up in the next hour as this thing continues to mature. Let's take a look at this on radar real quick. Show you guys our position uh, in uh, relative to the storm here. Okay, so here we are. Okay, there we are. Okay, so this thing's moving pretty much right at us here. Put this in motion. Okay, we may have a right split occurring, right and left split occurring. Okay, you can see red's moving north there, and this is kind of staying to the south, so we could have a split occurring. Uh, may not be a good thing this early in the storm's life, so we'll have to see uh, how the storm handles this split. But just looking at it visually, it looks like a very healthy looking updraft here. Kind of see more updrafts way back in there as well. Overall, I definitely uh, like the look of this for severe weather chances. Don't like to look at this if you know we're rooting for no tornadoes today. Hell, very healthy looking updraft. Ben. Oh, these sticks. Ben, Ben's having another snack. No, I got it. Save it for the chase. Yeah, you can see that scud on there. Yeah. You can tell, yeah there's a lot of moisture. Yeah, look at that rising scud. It's like building its base. Five dew points yeah. in the Nebraska Panhandle. About yeah. 4,000 feet up. Oh my goodness. Dude. All right, we got a fly invasion. Fly into the station. They like your wheel for some reason. Yeah, they're all they over there. All over there. Probably going to be all in my car. Where's the giant moths? Yeah. So Reed, Reed was talking, was talking about, about the giant moths earlier. Yeah, dude, you can tell it's moving off the mountain a little bit. Yeah. That was a problem the other day. Couldn't get off the mountain. Yeah, but this one's definitely moving off. Shouldn't be in it. Right. Yeah. Much better dues today. Let's probably get it done. Much better what? Much better dues today too. Yeah. Uh, so that was the Ridge Riders. So they're looking at the same storm that Reed is looking at and uh, just from a different angle. But you hear that they're pretty much in agreement with Reed that it looks like a healthy storm. Um, let's also just check in with Brandon Kopic right now. Look at this beautiful beast. Somewhere over here. Please, it took me somewhere to pull off the point of this thing. This thing is an animal. 
absolute monster. Please let the rear pull off or pull in or something. I just want to stop right here, but there's nowhere to stop safely. It's all blocking part of the road. I'll see if there's anything around this curve here. camera. There's a lot of rising inflow and a lot of rising scud into this thing. This thing is a beast. They did severe warn this storm now, guys, so it is severe warn. Um, this thing is just an absolute unit of a storm. It's, try it's getting its act together. Definitely getting its act together. I wish I had a better place to go. I don't know if I could. You know what? Let me see if I can get on the other side of the road there and see if there's a better... I don't think there's going to be a better vantage point. I don't even know if I can drive over there, but let's see. It's a bit gravelly. Not exactly where I really want to be on, but take it briefly. Tumbleweed. Wow, look at this thing. And it stops right here. Actually, my back up so you guys don't have to stare at the fence. There we go. Perfect. What a gorgeous spot. Georgina, a big old move for you. Thank you so much for your donation.
storm chaser Brandon Kopic here, just west of Chumpwater, Wyoming, where you can see we've got a monstrous wall cloud behind us. Look at that feeder band coming into this thing. And it's so low to the ground, where the mountain right behind it is scraping the top of the mountain. There's not much around. It's a very rural area. This is looking like it's going to be more important. Yeah, so once again, now you see this. heck is this not working stand by one moment but you could see you could faintly see this box right here see that that is the severe warning um so this storm is maturing it's continued to continuing to accelerate and you know we we don't, these guys, are just, you know, the Ridge Riders and, and Brandon, they, they just chase. And, you know, some days they're like, yeah, you know, share my, share my stream. We're not telling them where to go. So the fact that all of them are on this one storm uh, is pretty meaningful. Um, so this is uh, headed, this is outside of Wheatland, Lakeview, North Slater. Um, and Go back to the, giving you guys the view of it. Yeah, do us a favor and please hit that like button. We got 8,000 in here, less than half of that for likes. So please hit that thumbs up button right underneath the video. Really helps us. We appreciate it. You can definitely see a inflow band of some kind or a boundary that that the right mover is orienting on. It's probably that differential heating boundary. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning for this area. Look at the overshooting top or the uh, anvil, excuse me, crisp anvil on that left split. We already had a tornado. I didn't intercept it, but. Here you can see that tornado that happened just to the south and midwest across the road right there, public reported. We already got a tornado that happened. Look at that. Very tight couplet across the road, just south and midwest. That's where they happen.
And for those of you, those clouds up there, those kind of cool looking clouds, those are uh, Mamatis clouds. And they're on the underside of a, an anvil cloud. And they're really cool. Basically, you could get a whole sky of those at sunset after a storm chase, and it's just, it's absurd, so. Look at that inflow van feeding into it. It's got a nice base. It's all about that base. Oh, and look at that. You look closer. Now that's over 50,000. You also see it's splitting. There are two updrafts now. Let's hear what Reed's saying. Bringing them up now. It's definitely starting to get some cyclonic spin to it. You never know what'll happen with that, but you gotta go after the right mover usually. They're still hugging the I-25 corridor, but I expect these movies pretty soon. That's the right mover you're looking at. By right mover, read means this one. So when a storm splits, there's a left mover and then a right mover, which is that one, if you're looking above me. And it's the right one that usually gets stronger and produces a tornado. The left, it can happen, but the right one is usually what you want. And this one, as you can see, its tops are getting bigger and bigger, so it's getting taller and taller. This thing definitely is not saying tornado imminent by any means. Honestly, I think it's about time for us to get north. I love the view, but I think we need to get back to where we were. That way we don't lose good visual. Right. This thing's gonna be crossing up near Slater. Damn, what a tornado up there. North of Casper ways, south of Midwest. Possibly could have gotten that even. This storm is anchored right on the differential heating boundary. Look at that thing. It even has a little lowering on its backside.
Uh, people are wondering where everybody is. Just look on the map behind. You can see Reed is to the north of these splitting storms. So this is the left split and this is the right split. You can see Brandon and the Ridge Riders are south of it. And we, we know this because we're using highways and hailstones. It's a uh, great app. Link in description. Let's go to Brandon because that is a cool shot. Rapidly intensifying. Oh, more cows. Bark! Alright, so we're going to get on 25 and blast north. is definitely intensifying right now. Um, we're going to get to Interstate 25 to take that north. And we're going to take 25 northbound uh, to get right up underneath this thing. We're going to have an amazing view of this thing here shortly. we got to get back on 25. You guys are going to lose a view here momentarily just due to the hills and the mountains. Uh, so stay with us. We're definitely going to be in within a good view range of this thing here very, very soon. So we're just trying to get there right now. It gets a little difficult with all these winding roads, but we'll be right on this storm here momentarily. Yeah, just make sure that you follow uh, the Ridge Riders, Connor and, and Brandon. They're gr great chasers and uh, happy to have them. Right. And just remember, so Reed is, you know, he's, he's thinking this might be a long game. He, he, it's who knows with this, but Reed is, he moved up and he's come over here and kind of positioning over here as this, this will move this way. Um, so yeah, I guess I, I don't need to talk.
this thing is looking just about as classic as you're going to get for a tornado producer. So we're going to keep blasting north. Um, really liking this thing. I'm honestly shocked they don't have a severe thunderstorm warning on the storm by itself. Oh, there it is. They just issued it. Severe thunderstorm warning, tornado possible tag. And then I'm going to drop south to uh, west of Yoder. I know there's a good west-east road there that I think this storm's going to ride or maybe move just south up. So I'm headed up toward Lingle, and then I'm going to drop south and get in the front of the storm, the right mover that's moving over Slater, Wyoming right now. I'm always worried that these are going to produce over I-25 before they move northeast. And it's burnt me many times in the past, but I had to get out in front of this thing. I was, uh, wanted to chase that lead storm as well up to Guernsey. And now here at eight miles, I'm gonna drop south and get in the path of this storm, which likely is gonna be a long track, hail producer, and, and probably a tornado producer as well. Strong easterly winds out here. Barely moving. It's a beautiful side up here, just to the east of Fort Laramie. That's the storm that you're looking at off the right. There it is. Just getting started. And you can see that band, that uh, differential heating boundary. You can see it in the cloud elements. It's going to ride along that. It's got a nice base, probably a lowering already. I can already see a wall cloud in there. Way in the distance, I can already see a wall cloud. approaching I-25. They always seem to do this. So let's do a really fast check-in of where everybody is and what's going on with this storm. So here is where everybody is. This is the target storm right here, okay? So here's Brandon, and here are the Ridge Riders, so they're to the south of it. Here's Reed. He's saying, he's saying he, he knows that these things produce along I-25 a lot, and he's worried that it, it, it's going to happen. Uh, again, but he's gambling and going out in front thing. He's going to drop south. But let's look at it on radar here. So this is the radar. You can see the new, ye new yellow box around it. That is the severe thunderstorm warning. This is the storm. This is its new track. Remember, we said we thought it was going to turn a little bit. It was going to bend, and we were right. So here is where it's going. And this is where it'll be in 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 45, and an hour. Um, I think Reed was saying he's going to go south and kind of try to get this way because he knows of a road, I believe. So he is basically going to try to go this way. Um, if we look at it on tops, this thing is over 50,000 feet. And let's look at it on rotation so it's starting to rotate a bit there. And if we just look at the hook, you know, it's starting to get a little elongated, but it, it looks like it's it's maturing. So anyway, back to uh let's go back to the three view and let's bring up Reed's audio here. Yeah, to clarify, I don't think it'll take Reed an hour to be in position here. But, you know, if we're looking at the time, it's 520. 
Um, there's still plenty of daylight left, and, and usually later in the afternoon, evening is when the peak heating happens. Um, yeah. So uh, we'll see. We'll see. But we have eyes on this storm, you know, north, south, and east. So we won't miss anything. Let's see what Brandon's looking at. That thing. Oh, it just fluffed out. Almost produced there southwest of Slater. I thought the thing was going to get tornado warning. Has a little donut hole below it. It's going in between Slater and Shugwater. Only moving northeast at 20. Shoot, it's making that right turn. We gotta go back south in a minute. There should be a turnaround up here soon. It's wrapping up tight there. It's moving east. It made a right turn. I gotta look at road networks. Okay, so I would have to go all the way back down to Chugwater to go back east. So I think I'm going to wait for it to cross before I make any decision about going east. It definitely has made that right-hand turn, though. Yeah, you see, so Brandon's dealing with the same problem that Reed is dealing with. This is why Reed, this is why Reed made the call to go up and all the way around and see if he could get in this way, or hopefully there's a road here. But there's n there are no there are barely any roads in this entire section here, so you just heard Brandon say, "Shoot, I gotta go down to Chugwater, and then I gotta go over here, and then I gotta go up," because again, there's not much out here, um, or not many roads. As as th this is these guys know U.S. roads pretty well, um, so that's what everybody's dealing with right now. It's about to cross. This is I-25 right here. Here is where this tornado would be. So it's about to cross, um, and it's showing some characteristics of maturing, but then it's, it's kind of not. So, yeah, it's, it's what, do you, you, what do you do? Do you move? Or do you wait? Do you move? Do you wait? So we'll see. Now look what Reed is dealing with up, up above there. I'm sure he's really happy about that. Look at that. 
tight rotation northwest of Chugwater. So yeah, we got a little bit too cute. We're going to have to drop all the way down here now. Could have just gone east out of Slater even. Damn thing's moving southeast now. here would like to grab onto that terrain near I-25. Looks like it just cycled. Didn't have a tornado warning issue just yet. I thought it was going to be moving a little bit faster northeast of I-25, that's for sure. signal on this terrain. It's about to curl back to the left. A lot of inflow on that thing southeast of Slater now. Might finally be starting to eject east. It looks like it is. With the orientation of that forward flank southwest and northeast, this thing should start moving northeast a little bit. I can already see a wall cloud on it. So if you look above me, you won't be able to see, but there's a little thing that just popped up there, and it's a TVS. It's a Tornado Vortex Signature. It says the hail size on this will be about an inch and a half, and the storm is moving east-northeast at 13 knots. But what Reed was saying, it, it looks like he's right about this. Watch, it actually kind of starts diving southeast at the at the very end watch well, we'll animate it here and right there it starts to dive right at the end there but anyway let's, let's hear from reed
going, dog? Without any boxes. Do a check in on this storm. Let's look at its if it's rotating. A lot of inflow. Is that there? Anyway, can't tell too much just yet. Yes, look at that wall cloud. You gotta be kidding me with that. Holy cow. Right up on that ridge. Look at that wall cloud right there. You have got to be kidding me. And just giving context, you can't see the wall cloud right now, but there it is. There it is at the bottom. It just revealed itself. You see that lowering on the very right side of your screen? That's the wall cloud.
Is this road blocked? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is it good wet? Is it pretty still passable that way? While Reed's trying to figure that out, let's get a closer look at what Brandon's like very close to it and keeping an eye on what's happening here. So let's go. Good luck. Definite rotation right now, though. Thank you guys all so much once again for tuning in. Be sure to smoosh that like and subscribe button. Still rotating right above us. It's just not. It's far from tornado imminent, honestly. It's not really that impressive. It's rotating, yes. Is it tornado imminent? No. Let me see what these roads are east of Chugwater. And it feels like the circulation just cycled further west. What in the world is happening right now? Yeah, sometimes we gotta bite the bullet, I'm saying now. I'm gonna go down to Chugwater and go east. Right, so now you heard, so Brandon, it's not, it ha isn't happening yet, so now he needs to deal with the, the road hole that Reed is uh, maybe dealing with it. I don't know. It's a road hole is a road hole, but you can see Reed is going down some dirt roads. Sometimes the problem with the dirt roads, it's actually somebody's dirt road, but um, this is chasing in, in this area. So let's go back to Reed uh, because he is advancing and he does have a, a good view of the storm every now and then. So let's, let's go to Reed while Brandon repositions. Um, I'll keep an eye I'll keep an eye on everybody, and if there's something super, super cool or super interesting, I'll go back to them. But this view that we have of, uh, of Brandon is going to be slowly leaving. So let's go to read. Not quite perfect, but we are lining it up.
So you heard that little, and I believe that was Reed celebrating to himself, good move going all the way around and now finding this road and, and he's, you know, you could see he's advancing. So his gamble might be paying off to get in position here. You could see him right here and he's making his way straight here. Wait, is that position exactly right? That position may not be exactly right, but you could clearly see from Reed's image, he's on the right path. It would be frustrating if there was no data out there, though, huh? Well, that's annoying. Um, hopefully it'll improve soon. Cue all the comments. You guys need Starlink. You suck. We know. We know we suck. We're trying. do it right on the other side of that ridge. Look at that big wall cloud. And Reed just, am I still hearing him here? Um, Reed just uh, sent me a message. He said data should come back. So that's good. Um, let's, well, we could keep this up here. You can see Brandon's view as he repositions. Check this out.
briefly. <clears throat> Alright, so it's definitely wrapping up to the north. Like this. Thank you, Haunted Doll. Concentrate now. A lot going on. There's a lot going on with the storm. Go to Brandon full screen. Let's go back to Brandon. Yeah. The fact that this row of Scott is going to merge at the base, and I'm just going to see a giant walk 
cloud here soon. That is the circulation right in front of us. Getting hail. creek down here. You see this whole new lowering is forming in front of us. This just has to get off this plateau and go into the valley. God, I love chasing that one. thinking about just waiting here for this to eject at this point. Oh yeah, here it comes. Large hail. There's some left to right over top of that feature. I'm thinking it'll maybe be form a new wall cloud right here and it'll leave behind that one and then eject and then this RFD will bulge out and wrap all around this feature. That's what I'm banking on at least. And you can already see that it's got left to right motion right over the top of that. Streamwise vorticity current. I know there's another wall cloud on the tip of the hook down there, but I want this one to form and dominate. Hailstone just came inside the vehicle. those guys that only partially pulls off. Wait, no, not here. Nobody behind me, thankfully, but I want somewhere to see. So this is the same storm. They're just repositioning in different ways from different angles. Reed is kind of in direct line of the storm. Brandon is kind of has to veer off a bit and go more east and then get north again. So, but anyway, quite a view.
gives us a view of both. I think it's trying to wrap around. Look at that motion. You need to flip around and go back south. Oh, oh, it's trying to drop right back there. We gotta get back south. It's trying to drop right there. Big bowl funnel. Mm -hmm. Big bowl funnel. You gotta get south. Circulation is right there. Oh, that thing is ripping in there. Rapid motion in there, guys. Rapid motion. How about? Oh yeah, this thing's about to plant right now, guys. Right next to us. It is about to do it right here, guys. No joke. Guys, this thing has some intense vertical motion right next to us. This thing will plant any minute. Just look at that thing ripping there, guys. Some of the most intense motion I've seen. This thing rapidly rotating is an understatement. Truly an understatement. That is some of the most intense motion I've seen in a while. And it's coming right at us. Peggy, a big old move for you. Randy, a big old move for you. Thank you both for your PayPal donations. This thing is ripping in here. It was just straight up ripping right in there.
pretty much underneath it. I'll stand by, guys. pretty much wrapping up right on top of us right now. The mezzo is right on top of us. So beautiful. Oh, funnel. White funnel. It might be on the ground. Where'd it go? Where'd the funnel go? I just lost it. I just lost it. Come on now. That's what I get for repositioning the camera. Did it dissipate? Alright, it's starting to wrap up just to the east now. Wait, it's wrapping up right on top of me. That's what's happening. This is some of the most intense motion I have ever seen for it not to be producing a tornado yet. Literally, if it plants, it will plant right on top of me. Oh man, I hope you guys can see how rapidly this thing's rotating. Not quite ready to produce a tornado, but this thing is rapidly rotating right above me. Look at that motion. Look at this motion right above me. Rapid rotation. Finally, they tornado warned it. Why is this camera not going down now? Oh, rapid rotation right next to us now. I gotta move. I gotta move, it's trying to spin up right next to us. If it plants, it's gonna be right here, guys.
Oh, hail. We got hail. Oh, this thing's ripping right in front of us, guys. Ripping right in front of us. Right above us right now, guys. Right above us. Here goes Rigsby. It is right on top of us right now, guys. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Look at this thing ripping in here. Oh, God. CJ's completely blocking the road over there. I don't think it's imminent. I don't think it's imminent. Still trying to wrap up and get itself together. All right, we gotta go back east or west to get to a better road. Cause this road ain't gonna do it. of road that is. Condensed? What? They just reported it. Well, that was all. Oh, that was what we saw. Okay. So there was one on the ground. All right. Yep. I was right. I thought I saw a fully condensed one. It was very brief, but it was condensed to the ground. So to give you guys just a little bit of what's going on, there is, there's not, there's not much road here, right? And there's also a ridge. There's a significant ridge here. You could kind of see it on this map a little bit that this storm is about to go over. And so Reed knows about that ridge and he's, 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 see, he's thinking it could consolidate north of that ridge. So this is something we forget about sometimes is that like terrain does play a major factor here. So 
Uh, let's we'll we'll keep bouncing back and forth between these two. The Ridge Riders they've they've had a lot of problems with coverage today, so uh, we'll definitely bring them back um, uh, if if we could see something. But let's look at what Reed's looking at as he repositioned earlier. I was considering going around the back side of it, but I don't want to be way south of the thing either. It's like happened to be right in the core though, doesn't it? Just dominating out here. It's like that thing is trying to spin. Maybe trying to produce, folks. Still a little bit broad, but it definitely did punch a little bit further north just for us. A little worried about the road surface here. Just a little bit, though. And don't forget, this was a long way on a dirt road to get out here. Now it's raining. So that's what Reed's saying. Like, I'm a little concerned, not that concerned. Um, he's aware of it, though, obviously. He knows what he's doing. Fanning, a big old moo for you. Thank you so much for your donation. May have the area of rotation cycling back behind us. Flip the camera around. Let's look at Brandon's on the big screen here because Reed's pretty pixelated. that multiple people got screenshots of it because I lost visual when it dropped.
tornado warning. First Wyoming tornado. First stream in Wyoming and first Wyoming tornado. Ain't that awesome? So you can see we're pretty pixelated at the moment, but it's going to improve. Uh, let's look at an update on the storm. Holy shnikes, we have a bit of a... We're going to go right back to them, I promise. But look at this hook on this storm now. This is starting to look exactly like our emoji, basically. That's why we have it. That's a classic hook right there. Um, and so you see the red box. It is the tornado warning. We'll go right back to the guys, I promise. Just doing an update here. Here's the velocity on this. And you can see that it is, it is rotating. For those of you who are new, this view gives us a view. Red is going away from the radar. Whoop. Here's the radar in Cheyenne. Green is going towards the radar. Generally, red is generally going away from the radar. So this means this is going away and this is coming towards. So this is rotating. It's called a couplet. And let's see. Trying to see what Reed's got there. Go back to this view. I'll keep an eye on Reed's view. Reed's view. Let's go back to Brandon. Brandon's along one of the major roads. Reed's on the uh, gambling on the dirt road, the ridge road, basically. Must be the major north-south road that everybody's on. Yeah, and I would probably agree with that. But I want to go a little bit further east real quick. Just a smidgen. Definitely wrapping up in there. Two pretty pixelated views, but they do make one big picture together along with the radar that this thing is definitely maturing. Let's go. There it is.
it's got to be up on that road now. Let's see if we can get it. I'm going to probably have to launch the bird. to cycle a little. It's still there. Got to get to the top of this next lip. Might get stuck in the bottom of this little things down. It's got to make the top of this next hill, folks. It's right over the river valley. There it is! Tornado! I'm going to try to fly it. Buy the bird from right here. Flying the bird. zoom in. There you go. Big time tornado right there. Right freaking there. I'm launching the bird now. So Reed is putting the drone in the air right now. Unfortunately, the camera is focusing on these raindrops, but you could see Brandon. I, I, I mean, this has to be the same tornado just from different angles here. Let's go. I'll go to Brandon's full screen. I'll come right back to Reed's. I mean, is it? It has to be. I dropped my phone somewhere and it is out of the car somewhere. Probably back on some road. But I'd prefer to figure out where it is before it gets to be too late. Look at this thing go, guys. Contrast is getting a little rough, but... Contrast is making it very difficult to make it out, but it's definitely there. Beautiful cone. Hello. 
beautiful cone. My phone has to be out of the car. Uh, it had to have like fallen out. Cone is still in there. hard to see because of the contrast. I'm sorry guys, I cannot look at chat right now. I am still just trying to get back in on the computer. Probably want to get east soon and find a north road. If I can find a north one soon. It's only a couple miles to the north. Look at it, here it comes. There it is guys. Look at that little nipple. Well, slender cone. There she goes. On the ground, completely on the ground. I can see it, it's very faint, but you can see it. There it is. Big time tornado on the ground. Oh, dirt, there's debris. Definite debris underneath it. I can't move because it's got in the way. And there's literally a guy blocking me in, so I can't move. And it has fizzled out. this camera set up properly so for those of you just joining yes uh there's definitely we definitely have a tornado here uh it was uh you could see on the map here here's actually that is not his correct position brandon is just about right here you can see reed is a bit off to the northeast and so we just saw the that tornado from two different angles here you could see uh, Reed's battling a little reception issues, but it sounded like he was launching the drone. So we'll have 4K drone footage of sunset tornado. And it, it seems like this tornado is really kind of out in the middle of somewhat nowhere. Um, so it doesn't seem like there's too, too much of a danger for um, anybody really getting hurt on this one. So 
uh, knock on wood on that, but let's go back to uh, Brandon's uh, full screen here. It's a bit hard to see with the contrast, as he was saying, and if you heard him say it could be cycling, that's what storms do sometimes. Sometimes they'll plant a tornado, and then they'll cycle, and then they'll try again here. So let's go back to Brandon and see what he's saying here. All right, guys, stand by. i got to blast west for a second. Coming back in a second, but let's look at radar. Let's see what this thing is doing. Here it is. And we're going to see this get really focused for a second. Probably right there. a little bit before that. This is rotation. I know that if you don't know what you're looking at, this is this looks kind of like nonsense. But uh, this this radar feed tells us and believe me, there's there's nothing to see right now. If there's something to see, I'll put it put it right up. But again, Reed was launching the drone, so you know, don't worry. Uh, if you missed it on the stream, we'll upload that 4K footage to the channel. It'll be glorious. Um, but anyway, let's because we still see we're having connectivity with Reed. Let's go back to Brandon. It's like something might be reaching down on the left side of that. Maybe. Mad pixels. Reed, Reed coming back? Mad pixels. Let's, we'll keep them both up and just see which one like really stabilizes. Because every time I go to Brandon, we lose him. All right, whatever, we'll go to Brandon. Just remember, as Reed repositions, as the storm goes, it, it gets closer and closer to Reed. Um, so it'll be interesting if we get a picture back on Reed, what he's seeing. But again, he's, you know, he's shooting everything 4K out there, and he launched the drone, which is why momentarily we were looking at um, 
just raindrops on the windshield when there was a tornado going on. But we had Brandon's video. Um, so anyway, let's go back to that. and subscribe button. Just showing you updated on the radar here. So remember we had a hook. So that's like the hook, classic hook formation. Now we kind of have like a nub and then this is the old hook. And it could be, they kind of throw these off sometimes. And then a new hook consolidates around here. So that, that might be what, what's happening right now. This thing is still tornado worn for sure. That's something I Look at it go. Why would you park behind me?
right, guys, we're blasting back east now. Funny, uh, funny enough, at some point I must have left my phone on the roof of my car. Maybe it was on my lap. I don't know. But uh, I dropped it, and it was uh, just chilling on this road out here. So I had to come back and get it. Thankfully, I had my, my find my phone on. Uh, but yeah, don't worry. We're not far behind. We'll catch up really fast. The storm's moving extra slow. Looks like it was currently cycling. So we're in good we're in good shape. I'm not worried even the least bit. Just glad I got my phone back. Well, my primary phone. Alright, now we blast back east. so slow that we should still be able to be in position to intercept before it even crosses 85, I think. So let me pop open chat again, everybody. Sorry. It's, <laughs> it's got really, really chaotic really fast. all once again for smooshing that like and subscribe button. any time at all. Pretty sure it's only moving at like 25, 35. So we should be able to get there pretty quickly. Uh, big old moo for you. Thank you so much for your super chat. Yes, your texts have been found. Janice, a moo for you. Thank you so much for your uh, for your PayPal donation. 
me see where we're at for KPL right now. We are at 880 right now. 880 right now. This thing is going to turn into a monster. I can already feel it. 880 over 1,000 goals. Thank you guys all so incredibly much for your support. I will update that really quick while I've got a moment. We are only 120 bucks away from our daily goal of 1,000 today. So thank you guys all so much. tornado on stream moments ago, so. And thank you guys all once again for smooshing that like and subscribe button. I don't think that's the last tornado we're going to see on stream today, that's for sure. Michael Goldsmith, the move for both of you guys. Thank you so incredibly much for your donations, ensuring that we just hit our goal. Thank you so much. Jonathan, thank you so much. We're on the back side of the hook now. do this without your guys' support, so thank you so much. Thankful God led me to the right place at the right time. Multiple, multiple uh, tornadoes so far today in Wyoming. What a day so far. It's awesome. I actually need to take a shot of my stream real quick or of my video and upload it. Let's jump to read for a sec. Looks like maybe a little... We got, a, we got a nub. We got a nub on reeds. Let's see if we can see it. Come on, man. Um, again, whatever Reed is filming, we edit it, we put it up. Dr. Emmett Brown. Thanks, Doc Brown. 
whatever Reed's shooting out there that he sounds very excited about. He's filming it. We edit it quick. We could, we could see it all in all its glory tomorrow, but stick around and see if you could see it live because that's obviously way, way more fun. Can see a nub coming down on Reed's stream. Looking at the radar. See what we could see. Watch what the hook does. So there's the hook. And then it kind of kind of is cast off and then pulled back in a little bit. If you notice that one more time. There's the hook. Thrown off a little bit and then kind of consolidating back in together. Damn. All right, Brandon. Well, there was definitely a tornado there for a second when we jumped back on Reed stream. Um, remember he and Brandon are on the same storm. Brandon's looking, his angle, it looks very different because, but it looks like on the left side of Brandon's, there is maybe a funnel reaching down or the remnants of one. One sec. Let's see Brandon's.
now because the back elevation is for a while. Alright, it's not on the ground. It's not on the ground right now. up here guys out of the hook and ahead of the hook Just updating you guys. I'm getting text from Reed. Did you see that? Wow. Wow, wow. So apparently got some good footage. If you're not already, subscribe so you can and get your turn turn on your notifications so that you know when we upload that video. And hopefully our pixelation subsides soon. But let's go back to Brandon. Appears to be cycling. Does not look like okay, cycling means basically it's oh there is a new tornado warning box here though, which means uh, the the folks in the know said this thing is definitely uh, possibly going to produce a tornado again. So they extended the warning box. This is what it was. And now this is the new one. And so we continue. I don't care how bad people want to see the tornado or vice versa, but you do not sit here doing 20 on the road. It's ridiculous, guys. We're on the outer edge of the hook.
monster hug. Continue on this road to clear saw to cut around this feature to the north. Or to the south. I squeak out another one back behind us even. Rain blob.
going southeast, so it's going to pass south of Scott's Bluff. Pretty much gonna have to be a let's sit here and watch and if it doesn't do it we gotta blast south and then east. I mean not very many mm -hmm. options. I understand that everybody wants to get up in there, but I don't think it's feasible. There is a white cone right there, but I don't think it's feasible to stay with it in this manner. No, it's going to be crossing like now. I guess it's time to go south and then east. Well, screw it. Let's go poke our nose at it real quick. We'll do a quick nose poke at it. What are these? Okay, that's an accident waiting to happen. Up in a bear's cage. Gotta get a bear in a bear's cage. I can hear the sirens in Hawk Springs. Once it pulls that tornado cycle, again, watch out. So Reed right, right there was saying, you know, watch out Hawk Springs because it looks like it, it's really trying again. So Hawk Springs, definitely look out, get into your safe place. And uh, if anybody else is in the warning box again, please heed it. Right on top of us. 
Oh, tornado. Tornado to the right of the road, or left of the road, excuse me. It's on the ground. Tornado on the ground. It's not fully condensed. It's right next to us. And these guys are driving right into it. Tornado suction vortices in the field. Suction vortices in the field less than 100 yards from us. Brian, I hope you're getting this, buddy. Yep, it's on the ground, crossing right in front of us. Right in front of us. Ooh, hard, hard winds. Gotta back up a little bit. shredding, tree shredding up above, right in front of us. There goes the power lines. Power line just snapping all right next to us. Tornado's right in front of us. We are in the outer circulation. Need to back up. Okay, time to back up.
it all the way around. Damn it, truck, truck overturned. So I believe Reed was going to check if the driver was okay there, but we haven't seen Reed here. So um sure everything is all right. Hoping. Um we'll see in a couple minutes here. I'll we'll stay with it.
got water. Okay. Ah, so I left my windows down. Damn, I left my windows down. I'm sorry. You good? Okay. Sure. You got a blanket? No. I do. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Richard on the heat? It's okay. I don't have service. Hey, here we go. You First the responder. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'm the driver. He's the driver of the truck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Okay. He I doesn't. Got, I got ambulance coming. And did it? The tornado blow you over? Yeah. Yes. You're just joining. No, it was uh, forward and above you, the tornado. Yes. Yeah. Forward and right above you. You can't see your arm. My name is Scott, by the way. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. I know me. I have never met you, actually, but I know you. John, you know what? It's still shaking. No, that's not. But you're shaking. There's no one shaking. I don't think it's going to be all the time. So those of you just joining in a little confused, there was a, a tornado. Reed was was pretty much right on it. And then shortly after, he saw, he saw an overturned truck. So the, the tornado must have formed right over the truck and flipped it. And so then Reed uh, <clears throat> ran over to see if there was anybody inside. And it, it looked like, yes, there was somebody inside. The driver was, was hurt. It, but it looked like somebody helped Reed carry the driver to Reed's car now. And so now the first responders are coming. It looks like they got the heat on, they're, they're keeping them warm. Um, crazy day. 
he seems generally okay though the driver seems generally okay okay i'm gonna hang out i'll just wait and see uh, would you like this hat help keep you warm just keep your eyes open man all right i'm gonna go check on the ambulance So yeah, it sounded like they, obviously, the concussion is the big worry at this point. It seems like first responders are there.
Yeah. Things go so fast, I don't want to hydroplane. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. Okay. okay, there we go. Jeez, this animal. There's no service anymore. No. <laughs> We need to get a call out. Okay, looks like he's getting up here. Maybe land sales. Maybe the long one. Tornado hit. Well, I was driving. Yeah, guys, this is this is storm chasing. You know, a lot of times the storm chasers are first on the scene because they're following the tornado and then it hits something. And a lot of people give storm chasers a lot of crap. <clears throat> but I think it was, it, I mean, it was obviously Reed, but I think it was also one other chaser who was on it who were the first to, to help help this this trucker. So... Glad to hear generally he's doing all right. We got got him to the ambulance. Thanks for all the uh, 
support team very very much appreciated let's see open in there. Uh, Freddie McKinney arrived and then we went and rode out the baseballs and then got him up to Hawk Springs. That definitely has some damage here. 
This thing is approaching the Nebraska border right now. Trucker sustained direct hit right here. Right back to read in a second. Going to continue north. Big wall cloud in front of us that may try to produce something big. And it doesn't look like we're gonna have many options for an east road here.
south. We are not moving fast enough north. Oh, goodness. It's raining on SOL. I'm gonna have to turn around. I really prefer not to have to do that because of slow drivers that want to go under the speed limit. It's right up here, but that rain is right there too. Dang it! I'm about to catch the precept. Son of a pop! I'm gonna have to turn around. Yep, here comes the precept. Whoa! funnel right next to us. Big old funnel. Why are we doing this? Why are we stopping? Come on. We're going. Though. Let's go. Developing on the right or on the left, guys, right next to us. Here we go. CJ, what are you doing, bud? Go ahead. I'm backing up so you can back up. Oh yeah, circulation is coming over top of us. Time to back up. Back off the road here a little bit. Get it, Rigsby. Let's go. Above us, come on. It's right on top of us, guys. That circulation is right on top of us. Yep, yeah, it's gonna be time to back up and flip around.
south and then back east as soon as we can. If we have to go all the way back down to the state route, so be it. Just to let you know that, that that clip will be up um, of what Reed actually saw there. That clip will be up pretty soon. So um, look for it. So then you could you could you could see everything without the, um, the windshield because I, I think he left it rolling. So look out for that in a few. T-Mobile have 5G right now. We gotta get to Scott's Bluff. Scott's Bluff is about to get hammered. We have to blast the Scott's Bluff. Yeah, if you look above me, Brandon was just saying the couplet was getting tighter. So this thing may go again.
like, oh, there's the 313. This is the road that everybody else is on. Wow. that road closed back there that's uh, off to the door to get up to Hot Springs. Still see the storm off to the east. I'm going to head down through LaGrange and then punch position here, 64 degrees, got to get down to LaGrange and then get back east to get back on this thing. Things got very intense back there. Sirens were sounding in Hawk Springs, thankfully. I got to go to the bathroom. Be right back. both for your PayPal donations. A big old moo for you. Thank you so much for your support. I will update the ticker when I get a chance. I just do not have that chance right now. This thing is going to be a mean storm as it goes into Scott's Bluff, guys. But the only good news coming out of this is the road network's getting a little bit better. Once we 
get east of Scottsville. So. Pass this friggin' motor home. <laughs> A four inch hail report just came in. Softball sized hail. Yeah, that doesn't shock me. There was definitely softballs in there earlier. It just extend the tornado warning and observe tornado warning. It is a PDS tornado warning for Scott's Bluff. A particularly dangerous situation. At 721, a confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado was located over Hubbard Hill or 10 miles southwest of Scott's Bluff, moving east at 15. This is a particularly dangerous situation with hail also up to the size of grapefruits, or excuse me, softballs. Four inch hail. So if you guys know anybody in Scott's Bluff, tell them it's time to take shelter. Gigantic hail and a strong tornado possible. Confirmed tornado on the ground. Confirmed large and extremely dangerous tornado. So you heard that Scott's Bluff. I'd also say Terrytown and Garing. Get into your safe places and Bring the animals inside, the ones you can. There's four-inch hail on this storm. It does have a tornado. If not for the tornado, for the giant hail that will destroy all of your windows. If you're in a car, get out, get home, seek shelter immediately. This is not a storm to play around with. It does have confirmed softball-sized hail and a large and extremely dangerous tornado.
is trying to recycle right now. Gotta get north. Just south of Scott's Bluff right now, guys. We're just south of Scott's Bluff. We're gonna be heading north on 71 shortly. Scott's Bluff is about to be hit hard. a big old move for you. Thank you for your donation. Some people are just driving like idiots, really. Like, I get it. We all want to catch up to this storm, but what's the point of, like, cutting people off? I'm sorry, like... Pursuit mode. When you brake hard with these vehicles, these police interceptors, if you brake hard enough, your car will be put into pursuit mode, which is actually kind of funny.
God's Bluff here soon, guys. guys we are on the south side right now we are on the south side of Scott's Bluff right now heading into town tornado emergency issued for Scott's Bluff tornado emergency issued for Scott's Bluff Tornado emergency for Scott's Bluff. The confirmed large and destructive tornado was observed over Scott's Bluff National Monument or near Scott's Bluff moving northeast at 30. This is a tornado emergency for Gearing and Scott's Bluff. Take cover now. You heard, Brandon, this is a tornado emergency. This is a tornado emergency. The tornado damage threat is catastrophic. Max hail size is four inches. This is an observed tornado. It's moving at 32 miles an hour northeast of so Scotts Bluff, Garing. Get in your safe place. Take cover now. Back to Brandon.
those wrapping rain bands are not a good sign. There were very well, well, maybe a very large and destructive tornado in there, guys. This is not good. right there. That's it. That's the circulation. I can't tell if it's on the ground or not though, guys. That is the, if it's on the ground, it's not fully condensed. Get out of the way. Yep, that's the mezzo right there. It is not on the ground. I repeat, it is not on the ground right now, guys. Not yet. But everybody in Scott's Bluff needs to take shelter now. Big tornado trying to come down right now, guys. Alright, I'm going 
flip around and get rolling. I don't think it's dropping right now. It should I think it should miss town. Continue onward to the north and east. There is a road that will put us in better position. If we keep on this for just a little while longer. Circulation is going to stay south of town. For those watching, if anybody from the weather service is watching, the main circulation is going to stay south of town. Oh, walk out right next to us. Oh, big CG. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Almost right on top of us. That's a small hill.
Oh wow, funnel, funnel, funnel right behind us, guys, funnel. It's planning behind us. Where the hell did that come from? It's dropping behind us, guys. I'm flipping around. There might be a big one back there. It's hitting in the rain. Yep, it's on the ground. You can tell by the, uh, the rain band. Uh-uh. Not worth it. Yep, let me get the hell out of here. Not worth it. <laughs> Oh, it's on. There's a big one in there. You can hear it. The roar. I can't see it, but I can definitely hear it. Here comes the winds. I'm not playing that again. You cannot see it, but you can definitely hear it in there. Luckily, it, it went east of town.
we got to get north to this east road as fast as we can. guys so currently we're heading north and we got to get east on this road up ahead here um i could not confirm whether it was definitely not a fully condensed tornado um when we came across its path but it definitely had a very loud roar and you could tell that that was definitely the circulation right now in front of us you can't see it well you can probably barely see it but there's actually inflow into the circulation right now we have inflow winds into the circulation. Power just went out, power out, power out. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go straight here. I'm just gonna stop for a second at this interchange. Once the precip comes, then I'll book it east. Power did just go out at this interchange. I'm gonna pull up a little bit. There is a tornado in there. It is heavily wrapped in rain. Heavily. I could not could not 100% confirm it was on the ground. Well, I saw the ground circulation, but it wasn't a fully condensed tornado, so I'm not confident enough to report it to the weather service, but that insane wrap around it. And today the strong ones have just been a lot of uh, a lot of precip with uh, wrap around that hasn't been fully condensed. So I definitely think there was one, but I don't know if there still is one on the ground. As of three minutes ago, somebody just reported a cone tornado on the ground. So that was probably the roar that I heard. Why do I do this? Get freaking neutral by mistake. I'm just gonna point over this way for now. Just to kind of get an idea of what it's looking like. Yep, somebody just reported it. Rain wrap tornado with debris lofted. That's exactly where we were. That was actually where we flipped around. So if that tornado is moving east, it's coming right at us right now, honestly. I don't know. I've lost. I've lost count. Did you see the one I got uh, right Yeah, I was back on that southeast road, and then it it just started wrapping up on top of me. Started throwing. Yeah, it's not worth it. I didn't want to go north. That thing's dropping baseballs. Somebody just reported three minutes ago a cone tornado became rain wrapped, lofting debris. So yeah, that's what it this, yeah. So what? The storms are shifting now. 
I don't, it's, uh, I think it was moving northeast for a brief period of time, and then it started, now it's moving about, back east. What about the supercell behind us? One is, um, that guy's moving northeast. Why are we going to stay on this one or jump up east? I think this one is going to, if it keeps going east, that's going to have the better flow. That one to the west is going to be in rain-cooled air. Right. Yeah, I'm debating on just sitting here and watching that wall cut or going south a little bit. Yeah, that. Is that the new rotation? Yep, that's the new area of rotation. What? This thing keeps back though. I know. But it, it had, the weird thing is, it's only had a few like fully, fully condensed ones. So, who reported wedge? They launched emergency. Remember, they, they, someone said they reported a wedge because they couldn't see it. Yeah, I saw, I saw that report, but I didn't see like the actual report from whoever did it. I didn't. <laughs> I'm like, where's the tornado? I'm getting gas. You're right. I need to get gas. Um, that looks like a good thing to get. Yeah, it might be time to go south because I think the storm's turning back east. Oh, there you go. Right there. Dude, when, it was, um, when it was a cold tornado and I got east of it, like by like five miles, I was like, and I got close to the drone. Imagine it was roping out like it did. Yeah, oh yeah. And then it came back to life. And then it broke down. And then it came back to life. It's been, it's been crazy, but that's clearly directly in front of us is the new circulation. Um, what's that hole in the sky? Is that a hole up there? <sighs> no, that's the clear slot. Okay. So right there's the edge of the rain shaft, the clear shot. So the updraft's right there going up at an angle. So that tells us that's exactly where the new rotation is, because that's the updraft right there. There's a clear slot on the right side. And this thing loves to spin today. I know. I wish it would like fully condense without being rain wrapped. You didn't jinx us today. Not yet. Not yet. So after we left on the bridge, my car started having problems. Um, the bridge light came on as all the side of the transmission. Yep. When I pressed on the gas, it wasn't accelerating. That's weird. So I took it, I took it to like 30 pound over. Yep. It's bad down there. I had to turn back around. Uh, a tree just came up out of the ground and went right in front of me. Jeez. I'm so sorry for the trucks I went through there. There's a new circulation developing back there. Jeez. I was about halfway from here to lunch. It came out of the ground. Oh, I'm going south. This thing's trying to plant. Where? Right in front of us. guy local just came up and said that a uh, tornado planted right in front of him and it threw a whole tree out of the ground ripped it straight out of the ground and threw it in front of his car that's the new wall cloud over here guys I'll show you guys here in a second What's my camera? that's the new wall cloud this is the new mezzo you can see clear air there on the uh, right side of the screen, that is the clear slot. This is textbook supercell structure right now. I think there's one on the ground. Shoot. Need to get it back to that road and flip it. Yup. It might be on the ground over there, guys. For those of you just joining and wondering why I, I look so tired, it's been a hell of a day. Um, so it was uh, obviously chasing for a while. While Reed went one way, Brandon went another. The Ridge Riders went another way. 
Um, and then the storm went over the ridge in uh, eastern Wyoming, and then it started really doing stuff. Um, and Reed uh, came upon a, a, he had the mezzo right over his head. It planted it through a truck. Reed rescued it. A, a trucker with, uh, I believe, Fred Ma uh, Fred McKinney, another chaser. This goes to show you how awesome pretty much all chasers are. Um, and then Brandon uh, continu continued uh, chasing this and was very close in on the circulation that, that he thinks planted. Um, and now... This thing looks to be going again. And it looks like there's a rope on his stream right now. What the, what is going on here? VK2 FSRV, do you copy? You see this tornado, Daniel? What I see, you did it, what did he touch down? I didn't see any damage. I went through gearing, couldn't find a thing. There's a tornado on the ground right now, north of the road that we're on. I'm on the same road as you. I'm heading west. Can you see it right now? Oh yeah, it's a it's a real big elephant truck nor trunk north of the road. It's not that circulation to the south of the highway. It is north. Still continuing west on this road. It looks like it's disconnected from the updraft. Yep, it's roping out now. How far ahead of that is uh, from the storm? Is that on, on that new hook ago? No, I think it's embedded a little bit into the precip. Um, I'm heading westbound. It's actually still got some sort of a connection. It's still on the ground partially, but I am westbound on 92 right now. It's on the south side of the precip. It's fizzling out now. Well, I haven't seen it. I, I was stuck behind this uh, storm. Yeah, and if you're wondering why I was confused, it was that the, the, we were watching to the left of the road where the, where the, me, the mezzo was and that's where the tornado happens and then suddenly to the right of the road is you heard brandon was a little confused too he's like are you seeing this there's this elephant trunk coming down way ahead of the mezzo you could also see on his this stuff right here that's my modest clouds too and then we, of course we got a sunset and we uh, there's just a lot going on right now you could see reed is um he's you know he was it was kind of a lot what what reed uh kind of went through there you may be able to see that elephant trunk on his oh no not really i'll i'll hear one sec yeah get out toward baird um anyway um it's a wild stream and it keeps going uh thank you to uh thank you to the team thanks for for the uh mods uh, today's a rough day. Thank you guys. Um, but anyway, let's, uh, let's listen to Reed here. Um, we'll, we'll go to Brandon. We'll go to Reed. Let's, uh, go to Brandon really quick first. But Reed's coming up fast. I'm flipping around. I'm going to get going east again. Scott's Bluff. I'm back. 
There's a lot of people on the road here that are just watching the storm. I can see the base off to the northeast now. It is departing off to the northeast of Scotts Bluff. A lot of lightning right now. Uh, had to bring that trucker to safety back in Hawk Springs and then drop back south east, getting back into position. And here you can see the circulation. It looks like that hook is trying to wrap out to the north of Bear now. So I think that's the new circulation right about there. And back in the action zone, I'm going to go east out of Scott's Bluff up here and get right back on it because I don't think this thing is done. Not even close. There is another storm that's coming back behind that is also severe. Look at that storm coming back behind and that just missed Hawk Springs to the north. You can already see the inflow band off to the west of me. But the tornado producer, long track tornado producer continues to the north of McGrew. It's gonna pass just north of Baird. Big hail, that's the old hook. The new hook now has just emerged. I heard there was an elephant trunk that popped out of that just recently. So yeah, it's probably trying to wrap up right there. It's gonna pass to the north of Baird. That's the circulation. It's almost sunset. There you can see the lowering off to the right. Got a little bit of raindrop action on the inside because I left my window open. And yeah, I'm gonna punch east here in a second. behind it right now. Haven't seen any damage yet. There's firefighters hearing, looking around for damage. I haven't seen any damage just yet. Doesn't mean it's not here though. Might be damage up here. I do see some emergency vehicles.
to be on ground unless that new hook takes over north of Bear. It's another storm right on the back end of this one. And the next one coming is looking very intense. Kidding me with that. just west. Probably in its outflow, but we're going to go for it. produce already out here leaving. Spirit Thunderstorm Cable produced a tornado near Huntley, 12 miles south of Torrington, moving east at 30. Going to get it, just gotta go a little bit west. Scott's Bluff will be on it in 20 minutes. I can see it down there. Look at that info tail, Scott. There's the next tornado warm storm. Look at that above. It's above. You gotta be kidding me. Oh wow!
here at the surface. So we're probably gonna have to flip around to a more easterly direction for that to have a robust tornado potential. Storm to the west of Scott's Bluff. tower right above it. On this storm, a lot of lightning. Look at that. Just got to get a little west of town. This one looks like it's going outflow dominant. This one is still warm. Yeah, this is still going here. Let's go to Brandon for a couple. Turn. 
here shortly. Up to it now. Hopefully this small town actually has gas. That would be awesome. Got a very well defined uh, wall cloud up to our north. Oh. I can see the wall cloud and funnel. Definitely see a funnel from here. Can't confirm if it's on the ground. I see that. Absorbed to the west of Scott's Bluff. Northerly is mainly. And we're back in position on it. As you can see.
slid up on the right side, bright pink. seeing a lot of motion at cloud base so I don't know how high the tornado potential is it does have a tornado warning though Stop here. I'm gonna fire up to the jattle Bit of motion in cloud base. Definitely not those easterlies though that we had. lightning on this beast.
Let me get some shape to it. Look at that. Hi, do you have any rooms available tonight? Great, thank you. I have zero availability at this time. Reservation, front desk, please. Okay, sorry, I didn't get that. May I ask what you're calling for today? Front desk. Thank you. Let me connect you for a Could be back behind there. Hi, are you guys sold out tonight? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Oh, it's not the Holiday Inn Express? Dan, do you know if they're sold out or not? They probably don't, do yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, um, if I call the front desk. Okay, thank you. I'll just call over there. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Later. What's up, guys? That, that got intense fast, didn't it? Yeah. What a day. Yeah. Holy Not cow. <laughs> Were you guys on that road east to Chugwater or just yeah. a little bit? Uh, we went up this. Later and felt like we were right on the. That's first, what I was on too. That road, so you were right on it. The 152. You? Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, that road was a godsend. The the first and second tornado, we were right underneath. I heard you rescued somebody. Oh yeah. That's what John told me. I just talked to him on the phone. I just brought him to the. He's, well, he Springs. said he took someone to the hospital or something. Yeah, to the ambulance. He had like lacerations and a concussion in that rolled truck south of Hawk Springs. The semi was rolled. Yeah, he, uh... Oh, boy, look at this thing. I'm Josh. Aaron. Aaron hey. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to get some lodging. Everything fills up so fast these days. Around here? Yeah. Oh, look at that. Jeez, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, that was cool. I thought it, I was like, oh, it's rain wrap. It came it's out done. of nowhere. Aaron was, I was like, pull over, I have to pee. And I pulled over and I was like, oh my God, Aaron, you have to get yeah. out of the car. There's a tornado right there. Wow. <laughs> it didn't look that impressive on radar. I'm trying to call these people again. Kind of fun. Oh boy. I always stopping. Oh, come on. Here comes the circus. One Time last to go. one. I think we're going back to Denver tonight. Oh, all the way? Yeah. Reservations? Say what?
Hey, Charles. Hey, how are you doing? Did you see my invitation on a text you? I have it, yeah, about the fall. What you said? No, this was earlier today. Or maybe, yeah, I said uh, Blackjack and Deadwood. Oh, you did? <laughs> I didn't see that. Did, did I send it? I know you got two different numbers. Thank you. Yeah, I figure I'd get a hotel. Yeah, I'm 405. Well, I got a, a stream going, so. Yeah, I can't you can feel that cold air coming. But yeah, I haven't been able to check it as much. I did. Uh, yeah, we just came off of it. Like the rotation is like. 205 number? Oh, no, no, that's my burner. Okay. Yeah, I have the 405. Oh my Bible, how did that end up down here? That does not belong down there. Bible does not go anywhere close to the floor. Alright. Still got a rope. Still got a rope funnel in there. I still see it. Slithering down. A slithery funnel. Slithery boy. Tis a slither. What a weird, weird, weird day. Is be still up there? I might go say hi to him. I'm going to run over there real quick. <laughs> Looks like, uh... Yep, Daniel went west. Just one man, just me. Nice little stovepipe. Oh, that's sweet. Was, was that kind of a stove? Uh, that was, and then this one. Well, this the stovepipe turned in. Yeah, that'd be great. Uh, I saw one that looked. Like Jesus. Oh my God! He's going. He's, uh oh. He's gonna slide around that. I think everybody saw that. There comes the yeah. big stuff, guys. And that was the very first one. Yep. Yeah, I heard a head. Cover your head. <laughs> Where's your helmet, Reed? All right. Hey, hey, it's nice meeting nice you. Nice meeting you. you. God, take it easy. Yep. Never stop chasing. Keep that thing pointed into the wind. <laughs> Hello? Oh. I am. I have one piece of hell that goes down. I know. It always takes one to take you out. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting my hand on yeah, it. Yeah. Back in. Yeah, I have a car. We, we want to do some hiking. We and might. Wildlife. But I haven't, we haven't decided yet. Here it comes. Yeah. Happy birthday. Hey, thanks. Take care. Yeah. Stay around. Yeah. What's the Yeah. Next thing, the San Torrington let me know. They may not have rooms. The San Torrington let me know. They may not have rooms, though. Oh, okay. All right. Hello? Yeah, sorry about the whole there. Um, so I actually did several checks and we're completely booked out tonight. Booked at Torrington? Yes, actually. Great, thank you. Thank you. Peace!
This is the part of storm chasing. Most people don't see. Booked up hotels. Sometimes you have no choice in the hotel and you wake up with bed bug bites. And we got hail. Tornado warn. Two, it's Scott's Bluff. Kind of surprise. Maybe the south side. Wow, look at that tower. Damn. Look at that tower right there. Backside looks juicy. Saw some incredible lightning up there. Look at that tower just explode. Oh wow. It's like nice lowering right there, doesn't it? On the back side. It's right on the south side of town. Probably more hail fall, hail activity here. Beautiful tower, electrified. Oh, wow. Wow. 
Wow. Seems like I can capture that in slow motion up there. Go back in there, folks. Not over yet. How about a little more? This is more of a hail producer, but it does have a tornado warning. Yeah, wow. What a ripper. Hi, are you guys sold out? Hi, can you hear me? Hello? Back into the hail, here it comes. Oh, 
Honda runs up cricket. Definitely a big, more of a hailer there at Scott's Bluff. So they don't need to worry too much about the tornado threat with this storm, I think. Grant is bound, though. Thank you, Team Dominator members. I'm obviously going to have to do some exclusive streams for the subscribers and members out there and break down exactly what led to this insane storm. Those easterly winds, big westerlies, already that significant tornado up uh, north of Casper, too, that happened. And I'm headed to Runza really quick. If they're open, good chance they're not open just due to safety concerns out here. but. Thank you to Brandon Coppock, ChaserWX.net. Thank you to the Ridge Riders, Connor Croft, Ben Williams. Thank you, everybody. But it does look pretty bad here in Scott's Bluff. It's a tail of this one. 
But don't worry, everything should be fine. At least in Scott's club copper. everybody for joining me today on this chase. Severe thunderstorm warning now, it looks like. So I don't think that that tornado warning is going to continue. But thank you, everybody. Remember those three most important words. Never stop chasing. I think there's a delay between when you hit the, uh, the stop sending button. But that's, I think we all know that that's what Reed meant to say. Um, thank you, everybody. It's a wild, crazy, it's a wild stream. <clears throat> um, thanks to the moderators. Thanks to all our huge supporters. Welcome. We have a ton of new members. I know 50 of them were from... Somebody kind of kind of knew beginning of the day or, or i think was that how do i find it i'm so tired <laughs> well thank you anybody thank you everybody we really appreciate it we'll be going again tomorrow um so yeah thanks again to brandon thanks to the ridge riders hopefully the ridge riders will have uh, better connectivity tomorrow uh, but we will, uh, we'll see you then. Make sure you have your notifications on. Um, and, uh, I guess, uh, never stop chasing. Never stop chasing. See you guys tomorrow.